Why does God allow babies to die? Why does God allow so many people to die? Why does God allow earthquakes, volcano eruptions, tsunamis, tornadoes, things that kill people and stuff like that? Why does God allow wars? I thought that God is a loving God. This is why I tell people to read the Bible as much as you can. Myself, I like to listen to the audio Bible myself. Read in the Old Testament. Why do God allow plagues, famines, so on and so on. Read in the Old Testament. Well, I don't want to serve God if he is going, if he is going to allow babies to die and so many bad things to happen to us. Read the Old Testament. What if you made everything? And if you made everything, you will have a certain plan for what you have made, right? Because why make something if you have no plan for it, right? Makes no sense, right? Why would you make anything and have no plan for it? Okay, what if what you made does not operate in the way or follow the plan that you have set for it? you are going to try to fix it, right? After fixing it so long, and if it does not operate in the way that you want it to, what are you going to do? You are going to destroy it, right? Why are so many bad things happening in this world? Why is people killing each other and earthquakes, tsunamis, blah, 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 blah. The reason is, so simple, disobedience to God. When you disobey God, he is going to rain punishments upon people. Read the Old Testament, please. Well, I thought that God is a loving God. You can't just read one segment of the Bible and make a whole conclusion based upon that. That is insanity. Let me just read <laughs> part of this book here. And so this one segment here is going to explain everything else. That is crazy. God is love, but you are seeing one quality of God. If you don't do what he say, he is going to punish you. Very simple. This is why, so if God told you what he is going to do when you disobey him, and when you disobey him, who fault is it? Yours. If he made everything, you are under his rule, right? Well, Kevin, you know, no one rules me. Make your own self, make your own humans, then say something. But until then, you are under the rule of God, whether you like that or not. Think about that. This is why bad things happen in life because people choose to disobey God. So how can you be mad at God for something that you are the cause for? Chaos is happening not because of God per se, but because you are choosing to disobey him. So if you want this world to be a better place, what shall you do? I would think that you would serve God, right? 
But if you read in the Old Testament, you are going to find that people are not going to do what God says until what? Until he starts making things chaotic. Until he starts killing people off. Yes. So people have to go through so much pain until they realize, hey, let me stop acting crazy and serve God. I'm telling you, some people won't change until trouble comes. So be it. This is why babies get killed other than the mothers aborting their babies and stuff like that. This is the reason why so many people die. This is the reason why so many wars happen. Why? Because you are choosing to disobey God. So God allows calamity to happen. I pray that this makes sense. Why God? Why God? You should ask yourself, why you? <laughs> why you? <laughs> or why me? Or why am I disobeying God? If you serve God, he is going to bless you. If you disobey God, he is going to curse you. So if you choose to disobey God, why are you confused that bad things are happening to you? It makes no sense. If I take this knife and cut my hand, how can I say, why did you cut me knife? <laughs> why did you cut me? <laughs> bad knife. No, I cut myself, right? I did it to myself. So how can I blame this when it is me? How can I blame something that I am the cause to? I pray that this makes sense. This is the reason why babies die People die. So many chaotic things happen because people choose to disobey God. So if you want that stuff to stop happening, what shall you do? <laughs> disobey? No. Obey God. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.